Today I'm going to show you 12 good Chrome extensions for developers. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'm going to provide you another two as a bonus. And those two are really good ones for every user. So if you're interested, then jump in and let's go. First of all, those extensions I'm going to show you can use them with every Chromium based browser. For example, I'm using the Microsoft Edge right now, but you can also use the Vivaldi Brave or Epic Privacy Browser, Slim Browser. If the browser is Chromium based, you can use all those extensions. Now, let's start with the first one. And first one is a really useful if you're into the SEO world. I search for best WordPress team. And now what I see here, here are some keyword ideas. For example, it tells me that teams are searched for 18,100 times. The best WordPress team is searched in UK market approximately 1000 times a month. And cost per click if you're doing that is $2.39. I can change the country here. Let's see what happens in US. As you see, numbers change. The cost per click is higher and the search volume is also a bit different. Here you can see estimates for the monthly traffic in the United States for this link. So if the WP beginner is on the second place with this search term, they generate lots of traffic every month. I have to say though that those numbers are estimates. You have to take them with a grain of salt because if you test the keyword and the actual search results, you may find out that, that they are not correct all the time. But nevertheless, it will give you some overview of what is searched in the Google. Now you want to know what is the extensions for it. It's called Keyword Surfer. It's a free version. Just go to the Chrome Web Store, search for it, install and activate it. There is an overview video for it and you can use it. Now let's take a look at the second extension that I have for you. I'm going to open up the team forest and there is a extension called CSS Peeper. If I open it up and click on elements on the site, I can see the font families, font size, colors and so on. If I go back here, I can see the colors used on the site. And also you can take a look at the images and you can export them for yourself. So this one was CSS Peeper. There it is. Next one is Colorzilla. What can it do for you? If you need to know what are the color schemes or, or colors on the site, just pick the color on the page. It's copied here and I can paste it where I want it. There is a color picker, resample and so on. Picked color history, for example. This is my history. Palette browser. It opens up that CSS gradient generator. If you need to generate uh, gradients, then it's useful for you. I use it mainly to pick colors from the page really fast. Third extension I'm going to show you is called image downloader. As the name says, it helps you to download images from site. If I click here, it shows me all the images used on the site. I can download them one by one or I can download all the images by selecting all and clicking on download. Next extension I use all the time is copy as plain text. For example, a customer says, this is my old website, make me a new one, but you can copy all the text. Now to give you an example, what is the difference? If I just select this text, copy and paste it on the site, it takes with it all the formatting. But since I don't want it, I want just a plain text. The extension is enabled. I'm going to select the text, right click, copy as plain text. And now if I copy it, it's just a plain text without any formatting. I use this extension a lot. Next usual extension is called Performance Analyzer. Let's take a look at what will it do for you. I'm going to refresh the page and if I click on the icon here, it tells me that this site loaded with 1.7 seconds. It has 38 requests, time to first byte, DOM content loading and so on. You can scroll down and see 
what happens every time if you open up the page, what will load, how much time will it take, you can see the request by file type and so on. Really useful if you're a developer and if you want to speed up your site. You can even see the waterfall here, what will load and how much will it take. So this one was performance analyzer. Next extension is called page load time. Let's take a look. I'm going to refresh the page. It tells me that this site loaded with 2.18 seconds. If I open it up, it gives me an overview of what happened during the loading time. Basically, it's a stripped down version of the performance analyzer here. Now let's take a look at the next one. And this is extension number seven. And this extension is called perf map. If I click on it, I opened up this page and as you see, it tells me that, that fully loaded time is two seconds. First paint is 618 milliseconds. And now it shows how much time every element on this page takes for you. Basically mapping out for you some items here. I don't use it very often, but sometimes to take a quick glance, it's useful. Next extension is called clear cache. If you're testing your site and using every source of caching or minifying plugins, then it's going to be tedious to refresh your page all the time or hard refresh it with command shift R. Therefore, there is an icon for you. If you click it, it will clear your cache. Next one is called tag assistant. If you're using the Google tag manager, then it's useful to use it. So how does it work? You refresh a page. If it's blue, then it means that it's not recording. Click on it. Now click enable, record, refresh the page. And it says that it uses Google Tag Manager. If I open it up, it shows me the code snippets, URLs. So if you're using the Google Tag Manager and you own the access to the account, then this extension helps you out really well. Next one, sometimes I need to create pages and I need to add some dummy data over there. Therefore, I have an extension called lorem ipsum here. I can generate paragraphs or just words. I, I can add the word count here, 24 or bytes. For example, 244 or lists or just paragraphs, four paragraphs. Now I can copy and paste. Where can you find it? Just search for lorem ipsum generator. Next extension is something I use basically every day. If you're handling with your clients, then you probably know that you see something on your screen that they don't see, or you have to point them out something. And this is the main reason I'm using the Nimbus screenshot that screen video recorder. What will it do? I can click on it. I can screen capture the visual, visi visible part. Or I can capture a fragment. For example, this one here. I can select the area like this. Or I can select and scroll. Next option is to capture entire page. It's going to take a bit of time. And there it is. Really long one. There is a delayed screen, desktop screen, so blank screen. And you can also record the videos here. Now, if I'm going to select the screen and edit it, I can make some remarks here. I can blur something out. I can crop it and so on. And if I'm done, then click done. And if you have an account and you have a free space for 400 megabytes of screenshots, just upload it, copy the URL, open it up or send it to your customer. And there it is. Screenshot. Or you can just save it as image to your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, Slack or you can print it out. 
So these were the 12 extensions I wanted to introduce you tonight. But as I told you before, I have a bonus extensions for you. And first one of them is called uBlock Origin. What will it do? It will disable all the ads on the site. For example, if I click on it, as you see, there is a number three here. It says that, that it blocked three ads from the site, which means my browser loads sites faster. There are no blinking elements on the site and it looks much better. If you want, you can take a look what is disabled. But sometimes if you go on a site, it tells that you have a ad block you have to disable. And if you want to see the content, you can disable it. Now just refresh it and it's deactivated on this site. Just to give you an overview, what is the difference? I'm at the news portal site. As you saw, there was a pop-up. As you see, there is a banner. There are lots of banners here. But if I activate it on the site, refresh it, much better. No banners, loads faster, much cleaner. Last bonus extension I'm going to show you today is called Honey. What will it do for you? If you shop online, it will find the coupon codes for you and automatically applies them for you. For example, if I open up the Amazon page here and click on the honey icon, it tells me that this coupon code worked eight hours ago. If you're using this coupon, it will give the prime student members 10% off the books and so on. As you see, a bunch of codes here. If I go on a Best Buy site, open it up, it tells me that two codes tried a test at checkout that worked an hour ago. So yeah, honey is sometimes really useful if you're shopping online. Now, if you know any other useful Chrome extensions, then let me know in the comments. Also, if you find this video useful, then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Now, before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content.